that 82% of enterprise organizations rate their onboarding strategy as the key driver of value? Similarly, did you know that companies who focus on the customer success and adoption of the product will have a five-year growth rate that's more than twice of companies without that same attention? Hi, I'm Sabina Pons, and I am the general manager at Growth Molecules, a customer success consulting firm focusing on helping companies protect and grow revenue. I was a former global leader of customer success and support and community and loyalty, and I am a proud mom to two, and I'm based in Orange County in Southern California. Hi, I'm Annie Stefano, and I too work at Growth Molecules to help grow and protect your revenue by means of education through the Growth Molecules Academy. My background ranges through implementation through a director of a team in customer success, owning renewals, expansions, and ensuring adoption throughout our products and services. When it comes to onboarding, sometimes the relationship is not always linear between professional services and customer success. So it is important to be aligned on the mission and create a holistic customer journey. Teams that focus on customer centricity will be able to deliver optimum revenue continuity. In this presentation, we will give you a three-step recipe for revenue retention that gives you tips for how to build cohesive mission, how to partner for ultimate success, and we will empower you with cross-functional team alignment so that this recipe comes to life for you. But before we dive in, let's contextualize what we mean by professional services and customer success. Generally, in our experience and what we've seen shows that each role has specific responsibilities to best serve the customer. For example, professional services usually is part of the customer's journey for tactical short-term projects or customization needs. It's often billable and scheduled ahead of time with objectives and goals usually that are immediate and able to be addressed in the short term. Professional services may also be seen with an onboarding, consulting, and training deliverables. Customer success generally is a long-term strategic partner for your customers. They act more proactively, help anticipate their needs, and act as a dedicated partner to help achieve long-term goals or business objectives. Having ownership within phases, such as implementation, adoption, and retention. And now Sabina is going to share the first step in our PS and CS partnership. The first step in any recipe is to make sure that you purchase the right ingredients. To build a cohesive mission together, ensure that you have crafted and implemented a RACI model, a matrix tool to denote who is responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed, and then agree and communicate key performance indicator alignment. In this context, we believe that roles and responsibilities should include the RACI model because it is vital in establishing who does what, for whom, and how effectively. It doesn't mean that you lose collaboration or innovation in your role. It allows for opportunity to establish your value in the customer's journey and work efficiently. Similarly, the importance of KPI alignment is the same success criteria known and measured across both teams. Alignment on customer goals. Professional services and customer success teams should align on the customer's goals to ensure that they are met throughout the implementation and beyond. This can help identify potential upsell or cross-sell opportunities and foster a strong long-term relationship with the customer. Thanks, Sabina. So how we share the kitchen or work as a team really ensures that everyone plays a vital role in the customer's journey. And it has to not only be clear to find, but then we need to actually apply and practice it. A strong professional services handoff to success will be vital in establishing key objectives. This should include a comprehensive overview of the customer's configuration, any outstanding issues or concerns at the start, and any training or documentation that has been provided. A journey map is another vital component or key 
key to everyone understanding how they directly impact and set up for success the customer's next phase in each and every journey. Training for customers and team enablement, where both teams can work together to ensure that customers receive comprehensive training on the software, will help eliminate many misunderstandings. This may include development training materials, scheduling training sessions, and even tracking customer progress. When we think about step three, we want to restock the kitchen. This often gets left behind as time is precious in our role and everyday responsibilities, but we need to continue to give dedicated time to restock our kitchen. This means we need to have regular communication between the professional services and customer success teams because it is crucial in order to move forward in the right direction. This could include weekly or biweekly meetings to discuss on ongoing customer projects or any issues that have arisen and opportunities for cross-selling and upselling can be communicated internally. Professional service teams often have direct contact with customers during the implementation project, giving essential customer feedback to help you move forward with not only best practices, but gaps or areas of need for your products and solutions. Sharing this feedback with customer success teams can also help them anticipate potential issues along the way, proactively addressing customer concerns. And, and finally, regroup and reassess often. If you don't, the data, feedback, and information you've collected won't be any good to use to evaluate it and constantly evolve your product solutions, training, the customer's needs around the best practices needed for them to succeed or target any areas or gaps to review. The goal in this step is truly to practice cross-functional team alignment and use the information to help pivot process when you need to and where you have to. Like in a kitchen, food spoilage or waste can occur. Professional services implementations in B2B SaaS can be complex and time-consuming, and there are several common pitfalls that can occur. These pitfalls can have a significant impact on the customer sentiment from the get-go, and then customer success is already climbing an uphill battle to nurture the customer. Some tips to overcome these potential challenges. One, properly and realistically scope your projects. If the project scope is not clearly defined at the beginning of the implementation, it can lead to confusion and misunderstandings. This can result in delays, cost overruns, and frustration for the customer. In fact, a PMI study said that 37% of failed projects attributed to poor requirements gathering, lack of user involvement, and inadequate scoping. A second way to avoid pitfalls is to communicate effectively. Effective communication between internal teams and the customer help to prevent misunderstandings and delays. And the third way is to model project management best practices. Poor project management can lead to delays, cost overruns, and missed deadlines. This can lead to frustration and dissatisfaction for the customer, which can directly impact customer retention. According to the Standish Group, only 29% of software projects are completed on time, on budget, and with all features and functions originally specified. However, once you've delivered successfully, make sure that you follow through and follow up. Here's where the professional services and customer success magic happens. After the implementation is complete, Conduct a warm transfer to the CSM. Even better, have the CSM on the project wrap-up call. Then the CSM should be in regular contact with the customer. This will make the customer feel supported and truly at the center of your company's mission. In summary, when thinking through the recipe for working with your onboarding team, you should focus on customer centricity which will result in revenue protection and growth. There are three key steps to drive this revenue retention that we covered today. The first step in this recipe is to establish a solid operational foundation. 
make the decisions early about who will do what and what will be measured. The second component in the recipe is drive cross-functional accountability. Once the roles and responsibilities are defined, hold one another accountable to the business outcomes. Next is talk, measure, and grow. All along the way, keep the internal communication lines open, and it doesn't necessarily mean more meetings. Leverage a dedicated customer go live Slack channel or spotlight themes in an all hands meeting. Also, be sure to measure your efforts with the customer via surveying and other feedback mechanisms so you can quickly pivot to enhance the customer experience. As a thank you for joining us, we're offering today guests the complimentary 30-minute customer success organizational assessment via Zoom. And for those who complete the 30-minute high-impact session, you will receive 10% off all growth molecule services booked before June 30th. So please scan this code to learn more. Thanks for joining us today. Scan those QR codes and we look forward to connecting with you on LinkedIn. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.